you look back to the financial crisis, many income seekers were sort of carried out by relying on one area of the market. Back then it was the banks for their income. So I think you need to be aware of where you're getting your income from. And even within the UK, there is still some concentration risk here too. I've been managing multi-asset portfolios since 2012, with a particular focus on income multi-asset. On top of this, I've also had experience running risk-targeted multi-asset income portfolios. And one of the attractions of joining Quarter Investors was the ability I had to bring this experience, but also leverage off the wide resource that we have available to us here in order to create these genuinely diversified, truly multi-asset portfolios for clients. And this is really where a multi-asset portfolio comes into its own. The freedom it has is really its key strength. The ability to avoid certain asset classes if we don't find them attractive or the risk reward doesn't look appealing. But equally, the ability to, to position the portfolio towards areas where we do see opportunity across different asset classes, different regions, different sectors, different investment styles. Whether it's UK equities, whether it's looking further afield to emerging markets, or whether it's blending more alternative assets within the portfolios. There are other asset classes too which I think are attractive for income seeking investors. Um, alternatives for example, something like infrastructure where you're getting long-term, predictable, stable cash flows. And alongside of that, the return profile of the asset class tends to be fairly lowly correlated to broad equity markets. We're able to combine all the opportunities where we see them to create more robust, diversified portfolios.